And you're very welcome back. Now, we know from an episode of Friends that Ross Geller was a massive fan of taffy, but did you know that today is National Taffy Day in the United States? The confectionery may be a massive hit over there, but it's not, never really come over this side of the Atlantic, but that is all about to change. Chrissy Gibson from Take the Cake is leading the revolution. Good morning, I hope Chrissy. so. I hope somebody will try it. Good morning. Well, Amy. you've introduced us to some amazing dishes from the States that we wouldn't be too familiar with, including taffy. Please explain. So taffy is chewy candy. Okay. And there, we do have a few taffies on the market around here, real sour ones, the chewy, stretchy ones. Anna said earlier it would remind you of a refresher bar. That's do a taffy. Do you know what they are? Sure, that's a taffy. That's a sour taffy. Deadly. So we're making sweets or candy, I love as taffy. You call so saltwater taffy comes from New Jersey and uh, from the late 1800s. And yeah, the, er, these are popular in the States. Everyone knows what saltwater taffy is. Not everyone makes it. That's because it's so easily accessible. You can just buy it so mm. easily. But saltwater taffy can be a lot of fun to make. Uh, so if you're feeling adventurous today, if you're feeling confident and slightly patient, give this a try. The thing is that in Ireland, we don't have one of the ingredients that's so readily available to us over on the other side of the pond, which is clear corn syrup. It can be found here. I found this at my local halal store. Now, if you don't have a halal store mapped out in your neighborhood, I forgot to give that to you, um, then you know, go to any supermarket and buy yourself golden syrup, which okay. is what we're going to use today. Is this what you would normally use to make saltwater taffy? No. But I have found in my many attempts this week that this is the best. It is more than adequate. Yeah. Now, if, if, if you were to use clear, you could use food coloring and uh, also a, f a flavoring to make, say, strawberry or banana or mint or raspberry. There are all different colors and, and, t and flavors of saltwater taffy. But today, we are making salted caramel. Oh, okay? lovely. Yes. Now, I've already combined all my ingredients. What we're using is 200 grams of castor sugar, we are using 10 grams of uh, corn flour. We're using six grams of salt, 145 grams of golden syrup, right? We're using a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, that's six mils, 15 grams of butter, and 120 mils of water. Here you see it boiling away. Now, I'm going to get this boiling even even harder because we want to bring it to a solid boil. You want this to boil for about 15 minutes, okay? The thing is that you need to keep stirring it because you don't want it to burn, mm -hmm. okay? I did find that when I used uh, the clear corn syrup, it, it, would bore, it would burn more easily. So the good news is if you get if golden syrup at your store, it's a friendlier syrup. Now, you do need to time this because this can go wrong. It can, it can, it can burn on you. And uh, so you want to do this for between, say, 10 and 15 minutes. For me, 12 minutes is, is the magic spot. Mm -hmm. Now, after that time, here is where your steps become really important, OK? We're going to pour this into a pan, OK? So we're cheating right now, TV time. We're pouring our taffy into a pan to sit. And you have to have a timer when you make taffy, okay? So we're going to take our timer and we're going to set it to, to, for, let's say, 10 minutes, okay? 10 minutes. Once it's come out of the boil, I notice you have the, the thermometer as well. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. I do have a candy thermometer, which when you're making candy, naturally you need. Now, I wrote on the recipe for your website that if you don't have one, don't sweat it. Because if you're, if you're paying attention to your timing. If you're doing it right and it's hot enough, you'll be all Yeah, so if, you're, if you let this boil for, say, 12 minutes, 15 minutes, you, you can go ahead and feel confident that it's hot enough, OK? So just kind of keep an eye on your timer. Now, here I have one that I made about 10 minutes ago, OK? Now, this was liquid like that about 10 minutes ago, but now you see oh, what we have? Oh, 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 it's a gooey mess. So you want this to sit there for as long as it can, and you want to start working with it at a time when it isn't too hot so that it's not burning you, you mm. see? And what we're doing is, this is called pulling taffy. You've heard of pulling taffy. Do you know what makes a taffy a taffy? The chewiness. And also, softness. The trick is, you're not gonna have a soft and chewy taffy unless you take the time 
to do this step of pulling it. I okay. have this memory from when I was six years old. My mom made uh, taffy and I think the phone rang. She got a phone call and she got distracted. She walked away and when she came back, she had this, this you know, log of you hard candy. Yeah. yeah, she couldn't get it out of the pan. So at, after 10 minutes, okay, if it's not too hot for you to handle, you wanna pick it up and you squeeze it together like this and what is gonna happen is the color of your taffy is going to go from translucent to opaque. So it's not going to be glossy anymore. It's going to be cloudy. Do you see how already the it's color is changing? changing? Yeah. It's changing right in front of your eyes. Now this part, I can't stress enough how important this part is. It also, it's a bit of a workout. I was just going to say there's a whole workout in this. Now, <laughs> kids love helping. <laughs> Husbands love helping, wives love helping. You can get the whole family in on this, okay? Just make sure that your hands are clean when you start this step. Another thing that I like to do before I start this step is I like to put a little bit of butter on my hands. Okay, keep it greased. Yeah, and that way you know that you're not gonna have a sticky mess on your fingers. Now, you can see how the color is changing already, okay? Basically, you, you'll find that your arms get tired and you're thinking, okay, surely this is enough. Mm. No. It's not. It's right. Even okay. though, you know the, workout, even though burning. the color has gotten lighter, go ahead and please keep this up for, say, 10 minutes. If wow. you can do it for 15, even better. Now, here. You should bring out a fitness DVD, Chrissy. <laughs> Cooking. Seriously. You. There's a reason I wore these baggy sleeves today. <laughs> so do you see the color on this one here? So that's how it turns out. This is what we're going for, Aiden. Now remember that we used golden syrup, which has given our taffy the color. We've also added the salt and we've added the vanilla extract. So what we're going to have is a salted caramel flavor, okay? Oh, okay. Go ahead and give that a taste yes. there. Okay, now we're nearly out of time. And if I don't chew this quick enough, I won't be able to read the words that'll come up on the exactly. screen in a now, minute. Exactly. Now, I'm going to slice some, some pieces over here. And that's, this is how you do it. You can just get any knife. Mm. And after you've been pulling your taffy for about 10 or 15 minutes, you slice them up. And watch what I'm doing here. You take a piece of parchment paper. Parchment paper will work better than greaseproof paper, okay? Greaseproof paper is going to stick to your candy a little bit more than parchment paper will. You're going to wrap them up individually. But Aiden, if you don't pull your taffy for a full 10 or 15, oh geez. That's Anna, not me, that's them. Anna, well, they're nameless. Stop I'm gonna have a word it. with you after. If you don't, if, if you don't, okay, I can't, I can't find a different word for it either. I appreciate what if you're you saying. If you don't do that for a full 10 or 15 minutes, then what you're going to have is a hard taffy. Anna? Okay. Okay. I think on. it's time for a commercial break. Can I just say they are beautiful, like I'm, chewy toffee. Yeah. I'm really glad sweet. You love them. And they're lovely. <laughs> and they, <laughs> they start out hard, but they get softer as you chew. Oh. That's cool. That is really cool, Christy. That's really fun one to make rather than. Yeah, buying something different. Thank you, Chrissy. You're a professional my, as always. My pleasure. I apology, apologize. None of the rest of us are now for the rest <laughs> of the details, as ever, are on our website. <laughs>